Hey friends, and thanks for spending some time with me here looking at Global Star. Wow, what a big day! So a lot of you know, I have been in Global Star for about a year and a half now, and I have been waiting for this sleeping giant to wake up. And we're starting to see this giant wake up. Some things are finally happening. We're getting a lot of new investors in this stock, and guys, we're getting gears turning here. Thank God I bought some calls on this last week. But let's talk about some things. Is this hype? Is this gonna last? The last time Global Star hit a $2 mark was in 2017, and it really didn't stay there for long. It just shot back down over time. And guys, Global Star has been doing good here. It's been a slow growth, but I like slow growth. As I've said before, I do not like when things go straight up because there is usually a tumble back to reality. And when you have that high growth, that fall scares people and they leave the stock and they don't come back to it and they write nasty things. So Global Star has been attracting a lot of new investors because we've had a slow, steady, beautiful growth. And one thing you know I love, I love graphs. And look at this shelf right here. I talk about shelves a lot. Shelves are something you look for when you're getting into a stock that you don't know what you're looking at. Do you start to see shelves? Global Star has a shelf right here. We got one, we got two. And then after our last big high around January 20th, we have just this moment of just figuring out what we're doing, who's staying around, who's gonna keep on the bull here. And then today we got more good news with Global Star. And we have hit a whole new shelf, people. We have broke $2 a day. Breaking $2 is a big deal. And I know a lot of you have been commenting saying, I've never even heard of this company. I just bought X amount of shares a day. And what are your price predictions for this? We'll get to price predictions. Okay guys, so the big news today that happened, big, big news. Qualcomm has added Global Star Band N53 in its new 5G X65 modem. The X65 is Qualcomm's flagship 5G modem and adds global 5G band support for N53. So they are adapting and using Global Star's technology. Like we have been talking about the past few months with Global Star, as we have these bigger companies take on 5G in a bigger and broader view, it's gonna help companies like Global Star. And that's what we're seeing. And us as investors in these small little guys are gonna start to get up there with the big guys. Now Qualcomm stock is very expensive guys, very expensive. Now don't think Global Star is gonna be that kind of price anytime soon. But I'd like it to be, of course, I would be a millionaire by the end of the day. That's gonna take some time and that's gonna take a lot of resources for that to happen. But friends, my price predictions on Global Star, listen, I'm not that guy that's gonna be like, you need to get in this right now, it's gonna blow up. I'm never that guy. I am never that guy and I never will be because I understand and whether you're investing $5 or $5,000, it's still your money at the end of the day and you don't wanna toss it away. Tomorrow, sometime this week, we're gonna see a drop off guys. We're gonna see a drop off. Now the drop off hopefully will be the new level price of Global Star. You know, I'm thinking around 150, 160s could be the new starting point for Global Star. And that would be amazing, guys. That would be honest, because what are we doing right now? We're building shelves, we're building new investors. Every time a new article, good news comes out, it builds the stock up. So if you bought today around $1.90 something X that, I, I wouldn't get worried. Like I said, you're probably gonna see some major pullback here. Because friends, there's people that have been involved in Global Star for quite a long time. You've got people sitting with 2,000 shares and you've got people sitting with uh, 50,000 shares. And right now, if you times 50,000 times $2, they're probably gonna say like, you know what, I'm gonna cash out and I'm gonna get out of here. So I imagine we're gonna see some drop off here, but I'm really excited about this because this is bringing in new growth, this is bringing in new numbers here. And people are asking me, what do I see Global Star going to? What What is my price? I'm gonna be in Global Star for a very long time. I'm not cashing out of this thing anytime soon. But by the end of the year 2021, what I would like to see Global Star at, if Global Star were a $5 to an $8 stock by that time, I would be completely happy with my investment that I've been sitting on for almost two years now. I would be really happy with that. That would be small, steady growth. And yeah, I get market cap. I get, I get we have to get to all that. But like I've said many times in my videos, this is the stock market. There's no rules, guys. Look how much the stock shot up today just off some good news. Imagine if we got some more good news next week. Imagine if we got some more good news the week after that. Imagine if Elon Musk did something with Global Star. Imagine if Apple did something with Global Star. Imagine one of those big time players doing something with Global Star. 
Guys, what do you think would happen with Global Star? It wouldn't be our little secret anymore. It wouldn't be our little sleeping giant. And everyone would be just buying up shares. And honestly, that's what we want. That would be great. Everyone is rooting for Global Star. No one wants to see it tank. And guys, I think with today's technology and where we are going as a civilization, I think Global Star is about to have its moment. And I think companies that are involved in satellite technology, that are involved in 5G network, are starting to have their day and they're going to start to grow now. And I think what we're seeing right now are the small footprints of that. But guys, we've hit a thousand subscribers. I cannot thank you enough. It's It's been a pleasure. Just an amazing five months that I've been on YouTube. I have learned a lot. I have met a lot of new friends. And I think I've only had to block like three people. <laughs> but guys, things have been going great. And I just want to say thank you so much. And I will continue and try my best to put good, solid information out of there. And guys, like I said, I'm never going to be one of these guys where I'm just going to tell you like, bye, 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 bye. It's always up to you as an investor. Do your research. And guys, remember, when there's money on the table, do not be ashamed to take money. This is your money. If you have like 10,000 shares of Global Star and you feel like you need to cash out, guys, someone told me a long time ago, never be ashamed when there's money on the table, especially right now when everyone is going through hard times. Remember, be you, be positive. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. I really mean that. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.